Welcome back to another episode of the Switch Survival Guide. Today we are going to show you how to convert the armored raft platform that we showed you how to build in the last episode into this cool taming pen, which you can pull up to the coast, lure a dinosaur up the ramp into the courtyard, and then you can just hop up this ladder and shoot it down with uh, trank arrows and all that good stuff at your leisure while it's busy trying to destroy all of these wooden walls. And once it goes unconscious you can just sail away because it's going to be on that reasonably safe courtyard and sail back to your home while it's taming up in the courtyard so this will be really helpful and you can use the same principles to build a raft base which we'll show you how to do in later episodes too so uh, the first thing we're gonna do is actually place some ceilings here and we're gonna drop some foundations underneath those thatch ceilings. Now, as of the patch that came out this weekend, you can actually pick a ceiling back up and it does not consume that ceiling. So that is very helpful because the only reason we have these thatch ceilings is so we can snap the foundation to this platform and then we'll pick them back up before that timer runs out and we can just reuse the same ceiling. So that is a very exciting new feature that they just added this weekend. You may not get that for switch for a little while but uh you know you can just destroy these instead of picking them up it'll just take a little bit more materials but keep an eye out for that it's an amazing patch so we've just extended this base out to be a little bit bigger so it's not quite so cramped and uh we're going to be creating some wooden walls all the way around this little courtyard and that's going to give us some good space to be able to trap a dinosaur. So I'm going to run back and forth because I can't carry all of these building materials at the same time. They're just too heavy. So I've got most of them on my uh, parasaur here. And I'm just going to be skipping between all the times that I am just managing my inventory. And I will also be running up and gathering some more stuff off camera. So, you know, I just wanted this to be as quick and concise of a guide as possible. So the next thing I'm going to do is start adding some wooden door frames. Now I could be using walls, but door frames actually work just as well to trap a dinosaur. And none of these should be taking too much damage while we're taming it because it's going to be trying to attack us instead. So I didn't mean to make that, I just uh, got my hotkeys confused a little bit. So uh, I'm going to keep adding these wooden walls all the way around this courtyard and totally enclose the whole thing. And uh, that's going to make a nice little space that we can trap dinos in. Now, I will give you a quick disclaimer while I'm doing this. If you are going to build a raft, and especially if you're going to build a full base on a raft, there are some dangers associated with it. Now, we can actually replace all of these foundations with stone, and this entire raft itself will be almost completely impervious. And uh, it is a great way to live. But the one thing you have to really watch out for is whales can completely sink your raft if they hit you about six times. Now, there's a dinosaur called a lead sickthes, which is basically a giant whale, and they usually live in somewhat deeper waters, but if they see a raft anywhere within their range of sight, they will come straight for it and just start attacking you. And they'll run into your raft, and if they hit you six times, your entire base will sink. Now you can counter that by using plant species X turrets later on, which will make them too slow to actually attack you or you can keep the materials for repairing your raft right next to the raft itself, and you can just keep repairing it and stay pretty safe. And as long as you make a beeline for shallow water when you get attacked, you should be able to get away from it and get it too shallow for the whale to chase you. So I'm attaching this ramps to the very top of the door frames and as you can see this ramp goes up over the door frames so that we can actually get a dinosaur to chase us right over the edge and then they'll fall into the courtyard and won't be able to get back out. Now when a dino's chasing you, it usually won't start attacking your structures until it gives up on being able to hit you. So if we're trying to tame something, we should have quite a bit of time to be able to try to hit that dinosaur while it is in our raft trying to attack us. So uh, that should actually work pretty darn well. Now the rudder itself is completely exposed right now. 
and I need to enclose that so that we can keep that reasonably safe. It's also good to have a place that you can hide inside your raft base so that dinosaurs can't attack you if you run into anything that's swimming in the water like a baryonyx or um, you know spinosaurs and all that good stuff. They're land dinos that will actually go into the water. I'm also making a ramp up to the back here because it's going to be really handy to be able to access this rudder from the back. And I'm putting a door frame here, but I'm actually going to use walls to enclose the rest of this area because I want to keep this all very safe. And there's kind of a weird thing where if there is a door frame directly next to your rudder and a dinosaur is attacking it, they can actually somehow damage the raft. So I'm going to use a solid wall right next to this rudder. Now, I don't anticipate a lot of dinos are going to attack us from the back, so that back door frame should be fine. But I'll go ahead and wall in the rest of this area, and that'll make us a very small little house on top of our raft that we can live in. And I'm later going to add some amenities to that, but uh, this is going to give us a good way to just kind of escape if a dinosaur is attacking. And we can actually kind of have a you know nice little mobile outpost that we can use as a small base. Now, later on, we will actually be extending that to make a full-sized fortress that will be our main base location here. But uh, for now, we don't have a lot of materials, and it's a little bit harder to gather them than it will be. And uh, if what I'm going to do actually works, we should be able to tame a beaver, which will make it really fast to get materials. So you can see the ceiling is flashing like crazy and just kind of going all over the place. So I'm trying to move it to a position where it's not flashing so much. And if I hit the top right bumper, it will try to snap it to one of the snap points. And now it looks like they're all snapping pretty consistently to that ceiling that we placed in the first place. And I'm also making sure that, uh, you know, because the floor is a little bit uneven, because we stepped the foundation lower around the rudder so that we could still access the rudder, it's, uh, it's a little uneven here, but that's fine, and it seems like it's not causing us any trouble. So I'm going to go ahead and get this last ceiling in place. Now the nice thing about having a ceiling here is if I add a ladder, we can actually climb up on top of the ceiling and shoot down on any dinosaurs that are inside this courtyard. And that's really the goal, is to be able to trap a dino in this courtyard and then have a nice little ledge we can stand on top of while we're attacking it. This will be kind of like when we uh, tamed our Triceratops and we just used the terrain to get on a little bit of a rock ledge that the trike couldn't climb up. And it basically just sat there not able to really do anything to us. So uh, we're kind of trying to recreate that scenario, only this time we'll be able to cruise up the coast, find the dino we want to tame, and get it to chase us right down into this taming pen. Now this will be a lot more effective once we can replace this wood with stone, because hardly any dinosaurs can actually break stone. But uh, for now, I'm going to add this ladder here, and I'm hitting the top right bumper to get it to snap where the ladder's actually sticking up over this little ledge. And there we go. Now I can climb up on top of the roof and get to a place where I am reasonably safe from other dinosaurs. So I'm going to add a roof to the back here, too because that's going to allow me to back up a little bit from where I'm shooting if we have a dinosaur that can actually still hit me from the front. So some dinos, like a Triceratops, can actually have a pretty good amount of space they can hit, so that should be enough to get us out of harm's way, at least from like a beaver, which is going to be the main thing I want to try to tame with this. Now when we're done taming a beaver, which I'm pretty confident will work, I'm going to load up all of my dinosaurs onto the deck of this raft, and then I will show you an island called Herbivore Island, which has no carnivorous predators of any significance on it. And that is going to be a really safe and good resource-rich place that we can gather metal and tons of rock and wood, and we'll actually be able to expand upon this floating base and make a really nice fortress that way, which is a great way to level up. So that is going to be an extremely helpful base of operations, but uh, you know, first thing, we need to get that beaver before we leave this area, because there are beavers nearby. So uh, yeah, we are just about done. I'm adding the last bit of uh, door frames here, 
And you'll notice that I snapped these so that the door frames are facing out. And the reason for that is it's hard to see the doors from this side, but the other side, it's really easy to see them. And that's the side we're gonna be running from a dinosaur and trying to dive into the doors to be able to escape it. So uh, that is a pretty good little courtyard we've got going here. And now I'm actually gonna add a couple amenities for the base itself, which will help us to tame things. So the first thing is a bed. If we do end up dying in the process of trying to tame something, we can respawn right inside this raft and we will immediately be able to go right back to trying to tame it. We don't even have to lose a second, which will be very helpful. I'm also putting a large storage box right next to the rudder so that we can fill it up with all the supplies we need to repair the raft which is basically all the materials you need to build a raft. Just have a surplus of those materials right next to the rudder. And as it takes damage, if a whale damages the raft, you can actually hold down the X button and then hit repair and it will completely recover all of the health of the raft. So that will be really helpful in case of whale attacks. I'm also going to drop a mortar and pestle so we can make more narcotics even out in the field no matter where we are. So all of these things are going to make it much easier to uh, tame dinosaurs. And then the last thing I'm going to add is a couple of ladders up this back platform so I can climb up onto the roof if somehow I get knocked off the raft and I don't have to use the ladder in the front which would put me in harm's way. So at this point, we can climb up this ladder from the ocean, get up on the top, and shoot down on a dino if we end up falling off somehow. So this should have us in pretty good shape to use a taming pen. And uh, once again, you can do this with stone and it'll be even better. But this will be a great base and uh, we can probably in the next episode tr give a shot at trying to tame a beaver. So uh, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And uh, we will keep bringing you guides that will help you in your journey on ARC. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for watching this video from the ARK Survival Guide. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more great guides like this one. ARK is an amazing game, but there is so much to learn before you can really enjoy it. We are dedicated to bringing you high quality guides, tutorials, and let's play videos that are fun, helpful, clean, and suitable for the entire family. There is a tutorial in this series for everything we have done so far in this video. Check out these playlists for more episodes from this series and other guides to help you enjoy your journey on ARC.